Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in Illusion Diffusion. This is a new AI tool. It's built, you can use it on Hugging Face for free, and it allows you to create stunning, high quality illusion artwork or optical illusions. Now, let me show you what I've got here. And of course, I will put a link to this in the description below. But here is the first example and the second example even better. But the first one here is I've got my prompt right here. Again, I'm on Hugging Face and it says a beautiful cyberpunk town with neon lights, tall buildings, rain and glowing puddles. All right, normally it would create a nice cool uh, image for us, of course, but look at this, or AI art, but look at this. I asked it to use this here as the input illusion and it sort of chirped out this cool looking optical illusion that's inside the final image. Now I've got the illusion strength at 0.8, but I want you to know that A, you can increase or decrease the size of the illusion strength, and you can also use your own images. Let me go to the next one here, show you what I'm talking about here. Here we are in illusion diffusion. I used this image of Twitter. You'll notice here that I changed the illusion strength to 1.6 instead of the default 0.8. So I doubled the strength. It goes way, way up if you want to go. And here we go. Look at this awesome image that it created here on the right side. You can see the basically kind of like the little Tweety bird or whatever you want to call it, the Twitter bird is uh, burnt into it. And look at that. And here we go. And all I put in for a prompt was forest trees, wild animals, a super simple prompt. It gave me this awesome optical illusion. I believe this is called pareidolia. I don't want to pronounce that wrong, but uh, I have another image on how to do this in mid journey. So if you want to see another example, I'll run one for you just to show you what it takes. Again, links in the description below. All you need to do is drop your own image right here, or you can just select one of the different examples. For example, if you want a nice cool checkerboard, I'll select on this cool checkerboard, and then I'll put in something like, I don't know, Roman Villa with, I don't know, tall towers, whatever, something silly like that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to change the illusion strength up to, let's go something really, really high. Let's go to like two. But well, actually, how high does it go? It goes to five. Let's go with like a four. You want to go? You want to go big? Let's go big. Let's pour all. Let's pour all the spicy Thai sauce in. All right, cool. We're gonna go with four point zero one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep that prompt there. And then all you gotta do to make this work is click on Run. When you do that, you'll see here that there might be a queue. We're in seven of seven. So just keep that in mind. Also, this will not work if you're not logged in. So if you're just using it as a spectator and you're not logged in, I was having a lot of problems using this earlier. So keep that in mind. 